Hello there, friends. Today, let's talk about Chet Holmgren, specifically his 2022 Panini Prism rookie card, number 266, at a PSA 10 valuation. I'm going to discuss what I think this card is worth based upon a few data set points, uh, as well as my entrance and exit points on this card as well. First, let's take a look at the card. Uh, actually, we've got to get this uh, sorted out ascending so we can see uh, the daily rate. But first of all, the card itself, um, I like the pose. I like the action in it. I am sort of over Panini Prism's uh, um, base set cards. I know. And that's what they want you to do. They want you to be hunting down all of their parallels, their refractors, things along those lines. Um, but I just don't know that the sort of the mechanical, futuristic um, kind of vibe that they've got going on, I don't know if it's going to be something that'll last uh, for that purist uh, collector out there uh, in five years from now. So that's my my probably my biggest concern on this card, which is why for me this is kind of a turn and burn style card. I don't know if it's something that I'm holding on to long term, even though Chet, he is showing up for sure. But um, anyways, let's talk about how uh, this graph is performing here. So anywhere from about $76 on up to $104 as far as the bidding prices are concerned for this card. So about a $30 swing, which is significant. However, much of this is hiding around that uh, $85 to $90 range. Uh, so, uh, that's, I mean, there is some more consistency, especially when you're comparing it to say women, Yama's rookie cards right now, he has much more significant swings in price points, uh, deeper troughs and higher mountain peaks. So, um, I like the consistency that we're seeing here, but that's to be expected for something that's uh, a year older than what we're seeing from women, Yama as well. So, uh, anyways, up to the data points here, the data set here shows 15, um, auction totals that are auction results that were taken off an online auction site that you probably know. And we're going to take a look at the yellow, green, and orange primarily on the screen here. The yellow is the average price point that all of these bidders paid in order to win the auction. Does that make sense? In order to get their hands on the card, they had to bid on average this much, which is $89.55. Now, It'd be easy to say, hey, that's, I guess that's the value of the card. No, 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 right? It's definitely not because guess what? You're paying shipping on average too, which brings that total price up to $93.69. So is that the value of this card? No. Why? Because both of these values are not what the sellers are taking home. This orange is what the seller is taking home based upon the yellow price. Why? Because there are fees. You gotta pay. You gotta pay to play. And many of these uh, auction sites are, you know, have fees anywhere from about 10 to 15%. So I go on the high end and I say that the sellers are taking home 85% of the total price. So 15% right off the top goes away. So I personally would say that a $76.11 would be more of a fair value for this card. However, I don't like to be in on the average. I'd rather be in on the lower third of price points. So let's sort this one ascending. And I'm going to go down one, two, three, four, five. And we're seeing $68 is sort of that lower third point. So that for me is where I like to be. $68, if I'm a buyer, is the price point that I'm looking for. Now, if I want to get a little frisky and go up a little bit higher, I would average $68.76. Uh, so we'll call that $72. That is my max that I'm willing to to play with, willing to offer at a card show uh, for this card. So 72 is where I'm stopping. And if I can get my hands on it, say at $72, fine, that's great. Why? Because, well, sure, I could sit there and say, hey, uh, it, uh, resell it and say, hey, $84 is fair value for this card, right? However, if I'm looking to set up, say, uh, buy it now, I like to be in the top third 
uh, of that. Uh, so we're looking five from the bottom, one, two, three, four, five. That's $99.99. And that gets me a pretty nice buy it now option, especially when you consider that I spent 72 and I could pull home about $85 after paying those fees. Gets me $13 on a turn and burn scenario. And that obviously is not even at the top of the buy it nows. There's going to be plenty more buy it nows out there that are going to be much higher than even this highest price point. And so it might let me turn and burn so I can reinvest the money and find something else out there that I want in my collection. So um, again, my entrance point, $68 to $72. That's where I value it as a buyer. And as a seller, I'm looking for that $100 price point, period, end of conversation. So let me know what you think about those values, whether or not that's too high, too low, or whether or not it's just right, and what your price point would be under these scenarios as well. Take care, my friends.